From Best Friend to Girlfriend, Author, Aga Mora, Crossdress Small World. Part 8, Event, Start. After leaving the entrance gate area, Hayden was still holding my hand towards the registration desk. Anyone can attend the Dancing Under the Moon event as an audience. But the protagonists of this night's event are the couples registered in the competition. In order to be on the list, couples are required to register together at the registration desk. Registration will close at 7.30 p.m., and at exactly 8 o'clock, the competition will officially begin. It's still less than 7 o'clock. We still have plenty of time to prepare before the competition begins. After registering, Hayden led my hand to a table at the resting area. Ever since the encounter with Duncan until now, Hayden has always held my hand. My face is a little blush. Hayden turned to me and said, Don't worry about Duncan's rubbish. We will use our strength to prove ourselves in the competition. I shook my head, No. I'm not worried about that. Hayden felt confused, Then why is your expression a bit urgent? I said urgently, Isn't it your fault? Why did you promise me that before? Hayden replied, Ah. About the one night stand with other girls? Of course I have to promise you. How can I do that to another girl when I have a girlfriend like you? I continued, Huh? We're just fake lovers. In fact, we're still two close friends. No matter what you do, I don't care. I talked about this once before. Hayden mumbled, still just a close friend. I didn't hear Hayden's words clearly, so I asked, what are you talking about? Hayden waved his hand, nothing. In short, even if we are fake lovers, we are still lovers right now. I want to do my best as a boyfriend. I once again have to wonder, is Hayden being too immersed in this story? But in retrospect, this is not necessarily a bad thing. As a close friend, I don't want to intrude too deeply on Hayden's thoughts and decisions. But from my own point of view, it's true that I don't like being with too many girls at once, even if it's just one night stands. If I were Hayden's girlfriend, I wouldn't want Hayden to do that either. Wait a minute. Saying that doesn't mean I want to be his girlfriend. I kept saying, Ah, uh, it's not over yet, can you please stop holding my hand? This makes me a little shy. Hayden was dumbfounded for a moment, then he laughed and said, Isn't holding hands something that any couple does? Besides, if we're just fake lovers, why should you be shy? Or, Hayden paused for a moment, then he leaned close to me and whispered in my ear, Do you really want to be my girlfriend? Feeling the warmth coming from Hayden, my cheeks flushed. I pushed him out and said, Stop doing things like that. Hayden smiled and said, Okay, okay, I just wanted to tease you a little bit. Although our conversation was quite normal, the people around us could not hear the contents of the conversation. They can only see the somewhat intimate actions of Hayden and me. Around us, rumors began to appear. Some of the girls who admired Hayden seemed to be jealous of me. But I don't really care. Looks like they're jealous of the wrong person. I'm a guy so I won't be their love rival forever. But Hayden does not feel the same way. As if he was afraid it wasn't chaotic enough, he leaned closer to me and kissed me lightly on the cheek. I was extremely surprised by Hayden's action. Hayden kissed my cheek while I was still absentmindedly thinking, so I couldn't take any precautions. I turned to look at Hayden with angry eyes. 
Hayden stuck out his tongue when he saw my expression. So, the competition has not yet officially started, we have become the focus. Mixed with jealous gossip about me, I occasionally catch someone saying, but she's so pretty. Although I don't want Hayden to date anyone, but I have to admit, she is very suitable for Hayden. They are calling me beautiful and worthy of Hayden. I am very happy with such gossip. Ah, uh, of course I'm happy for the first part of the sentence. They say I'm pretty, which means that the effort I've put in these past few days in dressing up as a female has not been wasted. As a girl, who doesn't want others to call her beautiful, right? As for the fact that I am worthy of Hayden, forget it. Although lately, there are times when I can't understand myself well. But I feel that, I simply cannot have feelings for my best friend. An hour passed very quickly. The night of the event officially began. Although our university is just a very ordinary university in Sea City, it is the most crowded university in this city. Of course, Sea City is a big city, so there will be more prestigious universities for geniuses and rich people. But not everyone wants to study in those restrictive and rigid universities. Hayden is such a case. He likes to make friends everywhere, so he doesn't want to go to universities for the rich. Saying that to show, the night of this event was extremely crowded and the number of couples attending was also very large. Therefore, the first round of the competition must be divided into several phases. But even though there were many participants, the competition event consisted of only two rounds. In the first round, the couples will dance to a soothing waltz music. Dance technique will be the yardstick for the judges to scoring and eliminate the ineligible couples. Therefore, although the number of participants is very large, after only one round, that number will be greatly reduced. The rankings also started appearing right from the first round. But the final round will no longer be a knockout, but based on the score on the rankings to decide the final winner, because at this time, the number of participants is not much anymore. When the clock struck 8 o'clock, the roof of the multi-purpose playground officially opened. Every student, including the competitor and the audience, is looking up at the sky. The bright moonlight has begun to shine, this is also the moment when the event begins. Initially, I was still quite nervous when I joined this competition. But after the first round started for a while, I realized I was worrying too much. Most couples come here just for fun. They merely wanted to immerse themselves in the atmosphere of the event and the romance of dancing under the moon. Therefore, Hayden and I passed the first round very easily with a very high score in front of surprised and admired eyes of many people. However, one thing that surprised me was that, after finishing the first round, Hayden and I ended up at the top of the rankings. I also don't consider myself good, because the first round uses very soft music. But that didn't stop me from feeling happy. Because Hayden and I are on top of Duncan, Shen couple. When leaving the competition area, I also caught Duncan's angry eyes from afar. Before the final round begins, we will have a short break. Hayden received a call from his family. So he asked my permission to let him go for a while. While waiting for Hayden to come back, I decided to take a short break at the back of the multi-purpose playground. Since everyone was gathered in the front and in the multi-purpose playground, the back area was empty. I've never liked crowded places, so this place would be more ideal for me. But while I was standing there, I heard footsteps coming from behind. I'm a little surprised. 
Could it be that there is still someone who has the same preference for staying away from crowded places as I do? But when I turned around, I knew I was wrong. The person who came was the hateful guy Duncan. I don't know why he came to this place. He's still looking at me, which is to say, he came here to see me on purpose. Duncan opened, Hello, lady. Would you mind taking a moment to chat with me? I answered him, I have nothing to say to you. Duncan continued, Come on. Why are you so cold? I just want to get to know you. I said in a somewhat hateful tone, Get to know me? Xian is the type of person who will let her boyfriend freely start a conversation and get to know another girl, huh? Duncan smiled and said, Don't mention that boring girl. I just see her as a tool to deal with Hayden. I said, As expected, you are still such a bad guy. Duncan was surprised, Oh, you knew something about me? Hayden told you about me? I kept saying, it's none of your business. I don't want anything to do with you. Duncan gave a treacherous smile, no. No. The person I want has never been able to escape my hand. After saying that, Duncan snapped his fingers. Immediately, behind him appeared a group of bodyguards. I startled and asked, you. What do you plan to do? Duncan laughed and pointed at my face, you'll know soon. At this time, Duncan's bodyguards surrounded me. Looks like something troublesome is about to happen. To be continued. Today's story would like to stop here. Thank you for watching. Please like share for people with similar interests to motivate me to develop my channel. Goodbye and see you in another stories.